Okay, so uh, today's session, uh, if you'd looked at your training calendar, was about winning awards. And um, it's something that, sorry, I'm just checking, I've got yeah, recording on, sorry. It's something that I, I've been <laughs> banging on about quite a bit recently because I've been doing a lot of the positioning roadmaps with quite a few people recently and talking about how this is the time to really position ourselves um, as being different um, with, with those wonderful adverts that are on the telly at the moment from Zero and QuickBooks telling everybody that they don't really need an accountant, that all they need is a piece of software. Um, I think we need to try and change people's perception of what we are, who, you know, who we are, what we do, the things, the difference that we make. Um, and we do that through positioning. Um, and also, I think as well that um, at the moment, you know, there is still a lot of uncertainty out there about businesses and whether they're going to survive and whether they're going to cope with all the changes that are going on in the world and in the UK. Um, and we're the people to help. We're definitely the people to help. Um, but how do they how do they know they can trust us? So one of the most simple ways of them knowing they can trust us is obviously seeing the testimonials and stories that we put on our websites and we put out there but also having won an award or been shortlisted for award also means that they their amount that they trust us increases because they think that you know obviously people people that are our peers have voted for us which is what is the case for the avn awards so I thought, well, we know there are lots of awards out there at the moment. Um, first of all, please enter as many as you can. I know often people say to me, oh, it's a challenge. It's a lot of paperwork. Uh, you know, how, who am I to win? Uh, frankly, who are you not to win? I know that most of you are doing amazing things um, and I think it should be shared. Uh, secondly, do you know what? Very few people enter those awards. It, you know, from some of those big awards that I know of, yes, um, you'll see lots of people at the event who have bought tables um, or whatever else to, to be there at awards, but actually that's the tip of the iceberg, isn't it, for the amount of accountants that are out there. Um, and for us, we're not selling anything. You don't have to buy a table. You don't have to do anything else. The AVN awards are purely voted by accountants. Um, and not just AVN accountants, any accountant that comes to our Thursday Accountants Helping Accountants um webinars because we want you know we want everyone to hear these stories and we will promote them as much as we can so i thought today just really quickly some quick and easy tips to enter and improve your chances of winning the awards because this is a really simple structure for you it's not not reams and reams of information you don't have to put loads and loads of testimonials in it's a really really simple process so let's just go to the next one First of all, I just wanted to remember, remind you that it's AVN inspiring accountants. Inspiring means that we encourage people, we show people the opportunity. Um, you know, AVN is about inspiring you as accountants, but for you to be inspiring accountants for others. And inspiring doesn't mean that you have to be, you know, somebody extraordinary, a superhero, have your cape or whatever else. I get inspired by the tiniest little things, you know, people doing amazing things. People just showing that they care, people, you know, doing stuff. And, and you see that those stories don't often get shared on the news, do they? We only hear the bad news, but there is good news happening everywhere. Um, and they are the things that inspire us. So just to keep that in mind, and I will remind you of that, um, uh, what it actually means at the end. So why enter the awards? Well, first of all, like I said, it's about positioning yourself. It's about changing what we're going to do so we're going to talk about that we're going to look at the categories how to structure award some learning from past winners okay and then how to actually apply it uh, apply for the award sorry so first of all obviously i've talked about prestige positioning you get a cup i don't know if you remember seeing that gigantic silver cup um it's massive <laughs> um and you get your name engraved on a plaque on the bottom as being a winner you get £2,000 for you and your team to share. Uh, so, you know, this is really important that your team are part of entering the awards. 
um, and you get a whole suite of marketing and PR resources to promote your firm. And the important thing, like I said earlier, it's not about promoting your firm as being like, oh, look at me, how wonderful I are. This is about promoting your firm as this is how I am helping other people. This is why you should trust me to help you and your business move forward. And that's the key thing. One of the things I think we've always heard from award entrants in the past is what it does is it makes you sit down and appreciate your progress. Um, and, and having looked at the progress, looking back and seeing what you've been doing, it also helps you decide on what your focus is moving forward. And sometimes we don't have time to stop on that. You know, I know we try and work with our practice growth experts on our goals and whatever, but it's really important to just have a step and look back. And I want to encourage you to go into Coach Accountable, okay, and look at your call notes. You know, the, your practice growth experts, they write down what, were, what successes you had, what things you worked on. And sometimes they might not be in the successes bucket, box. It might be in the things that you worked on last time that actually you had a really great result from. And a great result can be anything from, you know, saving a client a huge amount of money. I've had a few of those recently, you know, people just, and they go, oh, well, that's just what I do, but actually life-changing for the client to just, uh, to actually helping a team member cope with something that's going on in their life. It can be all sorts of things. Now, look at Coach Countable first, okay, because they will have that in your call notes. You will look at the actions you've ticked off. You can see all the things that you've done, but then speak to your practice growth expert because they'll remember loads of things, okay? They'll talk to you about things and they'll remember all sorts of stuff that you may have forgotten. Um, one of the things, if you haven't done it this year, to start now is to have a little book, get one of your little AVM books, you know, your yellow books, and actually start writing in every day something good that happened something good something different a difference you made the difference i made today so i helped a client by doing this i helped a team member by doing this i helped my business by doing this and so just remind yourself because we forget so quickly so doing the awards is a really great way of really appreciating your progress so far <clears throat> The most successful award winners have got their team involved in entering the awards. And that's really uplifting for the team because the team see what's been happening. Um, and then obviously it wows your clients because you can see what you've been doing. And for me, again, the, the important thing is that you had some time to focus on your business. You've made some changes. So there are lots of, you know, even if you do not win the award, and I've had several people who've ended up being runners up or, or you know, didn't 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 win but actually the whole process of entering it has been really really valuable um because you know it's important to have that i often say to people um that i work with you know we have a goals board and a vision board and i say to people have a have a board up there with pictures of all the things you want and then i have a second board which is what i've already done and i have pictures up there you know, get people to put pictures of the things that they've already done the changes they've already made it might not be an exact picture but it's a picture that brings back that feeling of what's changed and what you did or whatever. And it could be like little testimonials. It could be, you know, something that you've done personally. It could be something that you've done as a team. I know a lot of you've been doing some great stuff for charity. So things like that, you know, make sure you've got these things written down. So let me just have a quick chat about the award categories. Okay. Now they are completely linked to the roadmaps, but it doesn't mean that if you haven't done a roadmap, you can't go in for that award because the roadmaps are a focus on a certain part of what we need to do in your business. But that doesn't mean you're not already doing bits from all of them all the time. It's just knowing that. So the first one is the Business Clarity Award, which is obviously simple easily linked to clarity because when we're talking to you about, you know, making sure you've got a clear picture of what you want to do. And we're going to go through these in, in, in detail in a minute. Um, positioning is all about differentiation. So how have you set yourself apart from the competition? What else have you done? Value, obviously about giving advisory. Gearing, this is about being committed to helping the customer, wowing the customer, giving them a great experience, but also about being committed to your team, your team doing stuff together, your team developing as a, as, as a team come, coming together and working together. Automation, well, it's not just about software, though software is great. It's about making sure that you've got those consistently high standards. That's where systemization comes in, obviously. But there's lots of other things, things you could have done that mean that, you know, you've proven time and time again that you can 
wow those customers because you've got the systems in place. Profile is about how have you lifted the profile of your practice? What have you done to show the world that you're there? Um, and I know often profile starts with the, with the partners or the directors in the business, but it could be somebody in the team that's lifted the profile of the business by something they've done. So maybe that's something you could connect to. And the last one is purposeful, changing lives. And yes, there's changing lives through B1G1, there's changing lives through charity work, there's changing lives by everyday work that we do. Like I said earlier, you know, sometimes by helping somebody just sort out their issues, it can be life-changing. Um, I don't know if you remember Val's um, award entry uh, several years ago, um, and Shane often shows it at, at Masterclass, you know, how the lady came to her and his son was being bullied at school and she needed to take him out of school because he was he needed some special needs training, he needed to go to a special school, but she couldn't afford it. And all Val did was restructure her business, restructure how she took money out of her business to allow her to be able to afford to pay that private school fees. And she changed that family's lives. Now, that's not that she did anything superhuman. She just did what as an accountant we should be doing, but it changed lives. So, you know, you can look at that in all sorts of ways. Um, and it can happen, like I said, the smallest thing. It doesn't have to be something major, but who knows? Okay. So the important thing to remember is that it's really simple to enter. All you need to do is go to the AVN dashboard. So if I just flick through here to the AVN dashboard, you can see it, AVN Awards. Really, really simple, okay. All you need to do is click on that icon and it opens web pages that are specific to your company, okay? Nobody else can see it, only you, okay? And each of the awards then have an entry and you can enter as many as, as you like. You don't have to enter just one, you can enter all seven if you wanted to, okay? And then what you do is you go in, you type in, Remember, be careful because it is a character count, not a word count. So you might want to do it in Word first so you can check it out, okay, and play with it. Copy and paste it in. And then once you've done it, click Submit, okay? It's a really simple process. And importantly, use your practice growth expert as much as you can to help you with this. So just very quickly i just want to go through some of these sections please if you've got any questions put on your mic and ask me the question or put it in the chat box okay so the first one the business clarity award we said was linked to clarity but it's you know it's about taking control of your practice what have you worked on in your business and the small steps you've made that are having a positive impact on your key numbers okay so i know a lot of you you know, when you start, you fill in that spreadsheet for us and maybe you haven't gone bad and had a look about how that's changed. What's happened? Has your happiness score changed? OK, has has something happened in your turnover changed or your profitability changed? What have you taken? Maybe you've taken control of your time. It's a massive thing that to take control of your time and also the time for your team. So what little things have you done? And remember, this is not about um going whoa look at me aren't i wonderful this is about shining a light on little things that other people could do as well this is about i said in inspiring people to take those small steps because this is about you know what would what would encourage somebody else to do this okay so think about that this is about making sure that you're saying to people look 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 i, I, I even i did this <laughs> you can do this too type thing um, but what a difference it, it made to you. OK, really important. The second one is the Practice Differentiation Award. So I talked about this earlier. We've been doing positioning quite a lot with a lot of you. You know, um, what are you doing now that's different from your competitors that makes you stand out? OK, how do you demonstrate to a prospective client that you're more than just a, an accountant? So I know a lot of you have done a lot of work on websites, have done a lot of work on language that you're using when you're out there, either on your website or in your, in your LinkedIn posts or whatever else. What else have you done? Some of it could be that you've just sat there and made you, really nailed your ideal client and, and your elevator pitch. Some of you have just incredible uh, in elevator pitches during the positioning workbooks recently. But really importantly, that you understand 
who you're working with. So differentiation might be that you've worked out who you want to work with and who you don't want to work with. And you're really clear about this because this is about standing out from the crowd, isn't it? Not necessarily having a niche market, but showing that you, you are, you're special, that you actually, people should be choosing to work with you and that you get to choose to work with them or not. Uh, that's a key thing, isn't it? The third one is business advisory. So what are you doing? What are you offering to your clients that change the numbers that matter to them? Okay. And how are you promoting and delivering on that? So, you know, what, what have you done that maybe has changed somebody? What did you do that you know, maybe you did a benchmark with somebody and that actually really focused in on an area that needed to change? Maybe you did simple stuff that works with somebody or just the first session. And actually that's really changed how somebody's thinking about their pricing. How are you promoting that? You know, how are you showing that? And have you got your team helping to deliver? So I know that in some, some of the firms, we have got team delivering these things. And so that's a great thing too, isn't it? You know, because you're, you're offering them through your website or through your marketing, but then you're actually showing people how you deliver them. The next one is customer committed team award. Okay. Um, and this is about leveraging your time through team, but it, more importantly about improving productivity. Okay. And engaging your team to be much more customer facing and focused. So, you know, what's happened in your team? Did you restructure your team? Have you had your team do a team day together that really sort of got them engaged with the vision and now they really understand what they're doing? Have they, have they, you know, have you had time where they sat down and thought, okay, what can we do to get new clients and, and make sure that they're really wowed in the onboarding system? Maybe, um, maybe the team have come up with really great ideas to improve stuff. I know that some of you are using team matters and team matters is a great way of measuring how, happy the team are but also like tapping into all their ideas and thoughts you know what else have you done to make life better for everybody because improved productivity comes from the team being happy the team knowing what they're doing the team knowing how valuable they are to the client and to the business so maybe that's something you can talk about the next one is called consistently high standards this is about systemization automate automation you know making sure that things are not reliant on one key person so what are you doing to make sure that happens have you got an example of where somebody's been able to just step in and deal with an issue because you had systems in place so thinking about that what do you do to make sure that those systems are followed how do you track that because yeah, again, software is really helpful and putting software in is great. Technology is really useful. Making use of it is fantastic. But again, it's making sure it's used consistently. The next one is high profile. So what are you doing to, to have some impact in the marketplace? You know, what are you doing to get known, like, and trusted? What are you doing that's attracting that? We actually are running a day on profile. I think it'll be the first of a two day course because, you know, we're just going to do the first day, you know, and see how we go. And then we've got a second day on on top of that. But, you know, if you haven't done that, maybe you'd want to come along with that. And um, that's on your training planner. But what do you do to make sure that, you know, you're seen? Are you out there doing YouTubes like last year's winner was, you know, um, Heal and Associates? Are you running seminars? I know that we're only just beginning to come back together, but people have been running webinars. And, and raising their profile. They've been doing a lot of, of, of stuff online. I've seen it. So, you know, what are you doing to do that? Make sure that you've got that connection. Um, and please, you know, I'm sure a lot of you are raising your profile. A lot of you are doing some great stuff. And like I said earlier, not just a profile of you, maybe your team are helping raise the profile. You know, there's some great things that can be ha happening that your team are doing that are pushing that through. And the last one is changing lives. So I've, I mentioned that earlier, you know, are you helping clients get their lives back from, you know, through the impact that you're having on their business? Are you going that extra mile? What little stories do you have? Again, go back and talk to your practice growth expert because there'll be a lot of stuff already in Coach Accountable that has tracked what you've already done. Okay. So when you're thinking about what you want to write in here, 
The key thing is what will others learn from this story? What are they going to take away? What are they going to do? Because that's the inspirational bit. That's the most important bit. OK, so what are they going to excuse me? Hey, fever's really bad today. You know, what was what will they learn? What's the inspiration? And then what was the problem then? So what was the problem or the pain? What was the issue? That's the challenge. Then what action did you take? What did you do first? What did you do next? What solutions did you offer? What help, training, resources that you've got from AVN did you use? Okay, so yes, anything that you do already, but if you can bring in an AVN tool, that's great as well, isn't it? Because you're proving that this stuff works. And then the outcome, what were the results? What changed for the positive? And then what else? What effect has it had on ongoing relationships? Has it brought you additional work? Has it improved the morale of your team or the morale of the team of your client? Or what else there is, okay? There are some fabulous stories out there that I know you, you have done, okay? And like I said, this is not about saying, oh, look at me, look at me, look at me. This is about inspiring others. This is about saying to people, look, it can be done. Because, you know, Accountants are just like every other business owner out there at the moment. We're feeling tired. We're feeling, you know, worn out with all the stuff we've been doing. We've got our, a lot of things. At AVN, we ask you to do a lot of extra work. We ask you to change. We ask you to do, you know, things that are outside your comfort zone. And so I want you to be telling people that it's okay. Taking those little pigeon steps, it's okay. These things happen, you know, that there are change, there are positive things. I'm not saying that there aren't things that go wrong for you. You know, the good, the bad, the ugly. That's all what we say to people, isn't it? Share everything. But in this case, I want you to share the good because I want you to be inspiring people. OK, so there are a lot of you, even, you know, some of you have only just set up your business. But what have you done that's been different? You know, what have you done to take control from the beginning? What have you done to set yourself, as, as, you know, apart from your competitors? How is that making you feel? Okay, because inspirational, yes, it's for clients mainly, but also it's on you, isn't it, and your team? What is it? What difference is it making for you? Is that giving you the choice? You know, Shane is passionate about that choice. Are you getting choice now? Are your clients getting some choice now about the hours they work, the money they take, yeah, the job they do and the difference they make? think about that because it can be really really important so I, I want you to just sit just for a minute before I move on I just want you to think of a client that you've helped okay I want that name I want you to write that name down or a person you've helped okay something that or something that you've learned that you think that's made a difference to how I am or how I treat my team or how my clients react, you know, interact with me. I want you to write that person's name down or write that thing down just quickly now on a piece of paper. When you've done it, I'd like you to just put in the chat box that you've got something written down, please. Just a name or uh, just something that will trigger you having a conversation with your practice growth expert or with your team about how can we write this down in this format? So in the chat box, just put in, done it or done or whatever, or written it down or whatever you feel once you've got that in your head. Well done, I'm right. First one, brownie points. Because I, I can tell from here that every single one of you has done something that's changed the way they thought, the way they're interacting with others. Come on, guys, it's not difficult. You can write these down. Thank you, Dawn. Z, I know you've changed some lives just from the conversation we had the other day. Yeah, good, well done, Nadine.
So let's think of some examples. How could we inspire people? Well, maybe you decided to do that, put your prices up. A lot of accountants are frightened of doing that, aren't they still? What did you learn from it? Somebody the other day I was speaking to had done the 80-20 principle on their clients. And actually it wasn't quite 80-20, um, but it was close completely changed the way he was thinking about his client base. Somebody else I know has up their fees, having some challenging conversations with some new client with some clients about those fees. But understanding profitability has made such a difference. Maybe that's the story, you know, because some people are frightened, aren't they? They're, they're, they've up the fees and then people have gone, well, oh, what if somebody comes back and questions it? Tell the story. What did you do? How did you manage that? Okay. Maybe you've got something inspirational about, about your time, your goals. Maybe you went to Kerry's goal setting uh, webinar training and you came out with a goal that was really strong. You know, maybe that's for people at the moment. I know a lot of people are so tired and stressed. They think I can't even think a week ahead. Never mind what I'm going to be doing in three years time. How can you help people get back and in being inspired? Maybe one of the things you can inspire people to do is just think about who their ideal client is. You know, and we do that in positioning, don't we? You know, who sometimes that's one of the challenges. People take on all comers. But thinking about that. Maybe one of the inspiring things that you could share with people is that you dealt with a terrorist internally. You had a team member that was really causing you a lot of challenges. How you managed that, how it made you feel, because and, and but actually, what was the outcome in the end? Because we all hate that sort of thing. Makes you feel sick, doesn't it, when you have to deal with internal team issues? But actually, do you know what? The difference it makes to the team afterwards when that's dealt with can be massive. So not everybody's put done in yet. So please, if you haven't, still write this down. You know, it's important. Even if you don't apply for the awards, which I really, really hope you do, just actually writing these things down is so important for you. So think about that. Okay. Just remember there are a lot of things that make a difference to people. Thank you, Kevin. You know, we used to show this all the time, but we don't show it very much anymore. But I think it's really important. So, you know, some people, we've helped them make money. Some people, we've helped them improve their enjoyment. Some people, we've reduced their stress. Some people, we've helped get their life work balance back. Some people, we've connected to others. Some, we've made forged connections with other businesses or forge connections with other services. Some we have delivered a six star service that we've done something that's they've just, you know, we are so proud of ourselves for delivering that. Some things we have made a difference. That's what MAD stands for, making a difference. And some we've inspired people. So it's a good picture to summarize, you know, just think about all these different things. What have we done, you know? Sometimes what we can have done is connected some of our clients to other clients to help them out or connected them to finance options that have helped them through the challenging times or have helped them see that actually if they don't get the life work balance right, they're going to miss some key part, you know, things in their lives. Or, you know, we've helped them find the money and the happiness so that they can go and have that holiday or they can go and buy their house of their dreams. So just bear this image in mind as well. I think it's really, really important. So I want you to make sure, first of all, that you've got the latest version of the AVN dashboard, okay? So make sure that you've run the latest update on the AVN dashboard. That's important for lots of things, okay? Because not only will it make sure you've got the latest version of the AVN awards connection, there are some updates that have happened in Times Up, fixing some bugs um, that we that uh, we've we've discovered and they've now been sorted. So you know there are things like that that need to be done. So make sure you do that. 
then get together an awards project team. Okay, two or three people who are interested in helping you to just brainstorm, just have a lunch time, you know, get pizza in or cakes or whatever, have a brainstorm about what could we, what have we done that's made a difference? Don't even talk about awards, just start off by saying, okay, what have we done that's made a difference? Can somebody tell me a client that we've made a difference to? What have we done? Can somebody tell me something that's happened internally that we've done that's made a difference? That could be putting software in, that could be that they've got team meetings, that could be that, you know, you just letting them meet up once a week. Sort that out. Set a target date for collecting some stories. Okay. okay. You know, it's really good if obviously in your entry, you've not got a huge amount of um, space to write what you want. But if your story is intriguing enough, then we will come back and we will ask you for more information. And those that are shortlisted, so those that are category winners, they have the opportunity to come and share their story on the um, Accountants Helping Help Accountants webinar. And, and there you can share all sorts of extra things. You can talk about having some testimonials about what happened. You can talk about getting maybe getting your team to present bits of it, what, whatever. Um, so if you remember last year's winners, um, Phil Tarbin brought in his team to talk about some bits and pieces and to support him with it. Again, you can talk about that. Importantly, talk to your practice growth experts, see how they can help. They are desperate to help you win awards. They really are. But like I said, if you don't win, but you were shortlisted, that can be as valuable. Several years ago, we were shortlisted for the, Law the Lloyd's Enabler of the Year. And that, that gave us an awful lot of credibility. We're applying for it again this year. Let's see how we do, okay? Write the stories in the suggested format that I give, gave you earlier, okay? And make sure that you then put it into the online dashboard by the 31st of July. So you've got time, got two, you know, May, June, three months, come on, we can do this. But yeah, I know you all like working to deadlines. So I'd like you to be speaking to your practice growth expert in your next call about this, please. Wouldn't it be nice if we got this done early rather than midnight on the 31st of July? Okay. So make sure that you do that. Okay. Once your entry's in, you need to click the submit button. Okay. And then that then registers us that that's locked down as your entry. So key dates, 31st of July, have your entries in. Second week in August, we will notify the category winners. Okay. And then on the 20th of October, those category winners will come on to the Thursday's Accountant Helping Accountants webinar and give a short resume of their entry. Like I said, with some perhaps little extra bits that will help because then they're vote, you're voted for by the people who, are, who attend that webinar, okay? So other accountants from all over the world will choose what they believe is the most inspiring story. And that's what we wanna do, okay? And you want to be inspiring others, that is the key. So like I said before, okay? It's time to be inspirational. Inspirational is about making others feel full of hope and encouraged. Write that down somewhere, okay? It's not about us, it's about making others feel full of hope and encouraged. So come on, we can do this. Let's inspire other people by the things we've been doing. Has anybody got any questions? Go and look at the award winners have passed. They're on the YouTube channel, AVN Inspiring Accountants, okay? If you want to talk to other winners, then please do find out what they did. They'll be, they would love to talk to you, I'm sure, okay? But I really, really please would love you to get started today. Has anybody got any questions before I let you go and have some time to breathe and relax before we kick in again at two? Oh, okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for your time today. I hope, I hope I've really encouraged you to do this, you know, to just take time to, if nothing else, write down those great things that you've done. 
so that we can encourage others to do them too. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care. Bye.